Steeler Nation, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. I've got a bit of a fun one today uh, talking about Cordero Patterson, running back, receiver, uh, kickoff return guy, you know, all around kind of like, you know, football player. Um, I saw on Twitter, and it's kind of a bit of a fun story talking about his jersey number. And of course, he used to wear or did wear in his previous team's uh, 84, right? However, who's the last person in Steelers history that you know that wore 84? Of course, everyone goes back to Antonio Brown. Now, I was a huge Antonio Brown fan. I've got his jersey in the color rush. I saw his game, Steelers versus Ravens, uh, Christmas Day game. Fantastic. Love the day. Was awesome. Lawrence Timmons, sucking flack. I always bring that up. Eli uh, Rogers getting his catch, and then Big Ben throwing the football to AB, you know, over the uh, the goal line, wins the division, crowd goes crazy. AB was awesome. He was a great stealer, fantastic. And, of course, what he's doing now with uh, CTSPN, um, it's, I find it a little bit funny. Like, I think AB is just wild. I think I think what he's, what he's doing, um, if you do follow his Twitter, some of his takes and some of his overall jokes are crazy. Uh, just really crazy. But that's AB's world. He's doing his thing. He's a rapper, entrepreneur, all those kind of things. Um, he's had recent, you know, run-ins with like uh, Damar Hamlin, uh, you know, talks about uh, just uh, just all kinds of crazy things that I can't even say. You know, it's AB's world. He's living in it and stuff like that. But there was a poll there, and the reason why I bring up AB because we're talking about 84, and Cordaro Patterson, our kickoff returner running back, says here in a tweet to Steel Nation or to the fans out there, and he says, keep my number 84 or switch to these numbers, 10, 13, 18. Of course, that would be, you know, DJ's num uh, number. 81, I think, was like in recent memory that I've heard of was Jesse James. Or, you know what, keep his number to be 84. To me... I reckon keep 84. I've had it for you all your 10-year career. Um, just keep going with it. You had it with the Falcons. You had it with, I think he was a Viking back in the day. You know, so I would say keep 84. And then create new memories that we saw with Antonio Brown. I'm not saying he's Antonio Brown or anything like that. Uh, I know, I think other players from the practice squad have used or you worn 84. But Patterson, if it was your number, if you're listening, uh, keep 84. But on the other side, one stealer out there, or ex stealer, uh, AB and his wild takes, he went to Twitter and he found that tweet and he said, "Only the only 84 you, you would ever see Patterson, hashtag CTSPN, is 84 Antonio Brown. So I guess he's trying to start, you know, a bit of a... I don't know, maybe a bit of beef with, with Antonio Brown versus Cordero Patterson. Uh, but these Twitter things, man, like I said, AB is wild. And he's proclaiming he's the only 84 you will ever know to be the Pittsburgh Steelers receiver. And to a certain degree, he's not wrong. Like, I've still got his jersey. I've got all the memories, like, you know, from, from the past few years of Antonio Brown with Big Ben and the, the, the touchdowns, the receiving yards, all those things. There's still that debate too. Will, will Antonio Brown be, you know, Hall of Fame um, eligible? But he's so off, he's so off filter, like on the outside. He doesn't care what he says anymore. He he doesn't give two wazoos about nothing. And but at the same time, on the field, he was a really great receiver, fantastic. But he left his team when he was a Buccaneer. He took his shirt off and he went away. Uh, when we traded him away, the Steelers were, he was, you know, getting very angry with us and he's losing his staff. And he talks about the, the CTSP and all the time and all this kind of crap. So all these things going on. And he just kind of like went crazy right near the end of his career. And now he's saying, well, the only 84 you'd ever see, see Patterson, is my 84 uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers when he used to wear it. One thing is, I think the Steelers would be, would be a good marketing choice, a good business choice if they do allow uh, Cordero Patterson to wear 84 because that would give us new memories and a new fresh start with that number, right? And we're going to see him a lot do kickoff returns. We'll see him playing at the run, running back position. I think you 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 might even see him at receiver, right? Or playing certain different downs at that spot. So uh, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think. 
Should Cordero Patterson keep his number 84 or switch to number 10, 13, 18, or 81? I personally think that he should keep his number 84 and just go with it. Just just go with it. Be 84. That's your number. And just carve out the rest of your career as a, as a black and gold stealer. Steal a nation. If you put, put in the results, you know, they will get behind you. Once you do a big kickoff return, they will be right behind you, supporting and cheering you. So my vote is, is keep 84. But let me know in the comments below, guys, who would, what you would choose, 10, 13, 18, 81, or another number.